So, you think you want to build your very own three-foot deluxe rainmaker. You think you have what it takes. Do you understand what you're going to have to go through if you want to get your very own three-foot deluxe rainmaker? The trials and the tribulations, the sheer hell you're going to put yourself through to obtain this lofty goal? First thing you're going to have to do is go into the belly of the beast. Yeah, that's right. The fucking Home Depot. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Fuck. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Why? The horror. What's up, buddy? The fucking horror. Look at his bullshit. I'll probably get this one. Yeah, that one's the one. Would you like an e-receipt? Fuck no. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. Almost free. Oh. Oh, oh. I can breathe. Oh, thank God. Oh, fucking, oh, God. Oh, it's over. Oh, God. Oh. Let's get the fuck out of here. Them baggy sweatpants and the Reeboks with the straps. She turned around and gave that big booty a smack. She hit the floor and the next thing you know, shorty got low. Oh, God, safe. Let's go drink some beers and beat our wives. So, back from the fucking Home Depot, gonna make this goddamn Rainmaker. Got the fucking wood, parked the car, brought the fucking wood in, here we are. There's the goddamn wood over there. Gotta cut that shit down. Rainmaker's gonna be three fucking feet long. So here we go. We've got the classic, gotta cut a four by eight sheet of plywood down. Wanna cut it to a three foot piece and a five foot piece lengthwise. Why not just use a circular saw, you ask? Cause I don't fucking want to. We're gonna do it freehand on this fucking table saw. Luckily this bitch has fucking wheels and we can move it real quick. And there we go. Make sure when you put your table saw back down, you're not gonna fuck anything up. Bam. Broke. Now, what kind of miraculous contraption are you gonna use to get this piece of wood up on the table saw? In this case, it's only quarter inch plywood. No big deal. Most people could probably lift that up. So I'm gonna use the not be a pussy method. All right. The board's up on the table saw. And I've drawn a straight fucking line on it at three fucking feet, as promised, from that end. That end is still five feet long. How did I draw such a straight line, you ask? Let me show you. I made a mark here and a fucking mark out there. And then I used that four foot level to draw a straight line between the two. I could have been a smart ass asshole and taken my tape measure and put it over here and ran it down here to three fucking feet and then held my pencil here, drawn this fucking line, sliding the fucking tape measure. Like a fucking idiot. All right, so let's cut this motherfucker, huh? Dust collection, fucking on. Why that bitch back? Table saw. Fucking on. Here we go. Drop it! 
Well, that was easy, wasn't it, kids? We've got that 4x8 sheet of plywood broken down into a 5-foot piece that we're not going to use right now. That's why it's leaning up against the wall. And a 3 peat <laughs> A 3 peat feast on the bench over there. Got the table saw back where it should be. Power cords running up to the ceiling. Noise. Now it's time to do some work. Let's slide our fat ass over here and take a look and see what we're gonna do. Look at that nice Home Depot corner. Focus you. Wonderful. At this point, you may be wondering, what do I need to purchase to make my own deluxe three foot rainmaker? Well, let me show you. You will need a quarter inch underlayment shot from the Home Depot. I purchased my four foot by eight foot sheet for $20. Those sons of bitches will also sell you a four foot by four foot sheet for $20. You will need wood glue. That is what wood glue looks like. Rubber bands. These are rubber bands. Get you some of, you will need a quarter inch dowel rod, three feet long. You will need a quarter inch metal screen. Looks like quarter inch holes. The beads fall through these holes and make the rain sound. You may be thinking everything on this project is quarter inch. Well, that's where you are wrong. You will need three millimeter glass beads. These are glass seed beads for jewelry making. You can buy them on Amazon or steal them from your sister. Or you can just use rice. That's what glass beads look like from Taiwan. You will also need the painter's tape a pencil, perhaps a tape measure, and a straight edge. Next step is to cut this shit into one and a half inch wide strips, three feet long. Got the table saw fence set one and a half. Got the blade not so high. Made a custom deluxe push block out of a two by four to push that shit on through. Pushy, pushy, pushy. All right, let's cut these goddamn strips. Dust collection on. Table saw fucking on. Be careful. All right. Ah, shit. Ended up with 29 pieces and one skinny piece. We're gonna use that skinny piece to do our test cut to find our fucking angle. The Rainmaker we're gonna be making is gonna be eight-sided. That's an octagon for all you non-high school graduates. How do you figure out the angle to cut it at, you ask? Well, you divide 360 by the number of sides. In our case, eight. That gives an angle of 22.5, you stupid ass. Well, let's get this saw set to that 22.5 degree angle. But here's a little tip. You'll never see the inside of this Rainmaker. So if we cut the angle a little bit bigger, the outside angles will match up much better. Let's turn that crank. <laughs> We're gonna go for about 23 and a half. 20, 21, 22, 23 and a half. Time to cut our test piece at that 23 and a half angle and see how it fits together. How's it look? About like that. So I've actually got the saw set back at zero degrees. We're gonna cut eight pieces off of our test piece, tape them together and see how the angle looks. Let's do it. Let's cut that shit end off first. 
Thanks, Home Fucking Depot. Alrighty then. Let's tape these fuckers together. I'm gonna put a piece of tape across that shit. Don't all press together nice. Cross your fingers so I don't fuck it up. Yeah. Looks like I did alright. So you can take that shit, curl it up, and see how shitty of a job you did. But uh, we're gonna go with this. See what happens. Fuck yeah, let's cut the real shit. Here we go. Is this starting to look familiar yet? It should be. Well, I'm gonna cut one side. And then maybe cut the other side. I don't fucking know. Maybe I'll cut one side on all of them. Cut the other side on all of them. Who gives a shit? Yep. Yeah, buddy. I'm all gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it. The camera's not in the way at all. This is naturally how I would do this awkward shit. Probably won't cut my hand off. Let's do this one fast. Real fast. Fuck it, huh? Slam that motherfucker through there, huh? Let's do that again. This is paint grade shit. Not like we're building the fucking antique curio cabinet. Alright, got them all sorted out back in order. Step two. The other side. Let's take a look at that. How's it look? Well, eh, I say go with it. I've done worse. You know how sometimes you're cutting skinny strips like this? Your ends, your ends tend to get a little skinnier than the rest of the board because you suck. You know what I mean? So you gotta compensate for that sometimes. And I know all about compensation, let me tell you. I own all kinds of sports cars and monster trucks. Huh, ladies? Boy, this is getting to be, ain't it? But it also be done. All right, we got our eight pieces laying out on the table. Line your ends up approximately. It doesn't matter because we're going to trim the end off on the table saw later. The first time I made this shit, I was real concerned about getting it just right. But it don't matter. So we got some gaps here. Those will pull together easily with this thin flimsy wood just with the tape and especially with the glue and shit we're going to do later. Let's put that fucking expensive ass $10 roll of tape on this shit. Don't be a fucking child. Cut your tape to length first before you start. Let's put them on this thing. See if we can't pull these things together and speed up. Doesn't that look neat? See all those nice grooves, everybody? That's where we're gonna put the glue. That's next. Okay, so they say you should always do a test glue up, but we're not going to. I don't care. I cut these angles extra big. If they don't fit, I don't give a shit. When you're gonna glue something with wood glue, get you a dry rag, get you a wet rag, because you're gonna need both. Open up your impossible to open glue everybody always bitches about but really they're just too lazy to clean the fucking tip i hope i got enough glue in here whatever and put a decent amount in the crack <laughs> you know what i mean so anyway who did you vote for i like the way you work it no diggity gotta glue it glue it up Ah, oh, but you gotta do the end too. Shitty. I'll do both of them, because I'm good like that. Alrighty then! Let's curl this fucker up. That's the fun part. In case you didn't know it, here's the fun part, everybody. Here's where you curl it up too tight and the tape comes all popping the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and then the fucking glue dries before you can get the fucking rubber bands on this shit. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> this is a hell of a lot better than the last one I made, I can tell you that. <laughs> 
get you your first wad of rubber bands. And up, oh, there we go. I fucked it up. Goddamn, too many rubber bands. Shit. Can't stretch. Fuck. Me. Shit. Oh, I'm fucking it. It slipped inside. It's fucking... Okay. Shit. And there we go. Okay. Let's take a look in this thing. I think I used enough glue? <laughs> fucking maybe. More rubber bands. Maybe not quite so many. What do you think? Ding, ding, da, ding, ding. Squeak, squeak, get a deep. You do need a lot of rubber bands. You can also use surgical tubing, or bandy clamps, or your dad's belt. Maybe your mom's purse strap. Flip it. I got these rubber bands for free at an auction, by the way. I ain't be paying for this shit. Did you get your rubber bands at an auction? You should have. <laughs> you the fucker. Damn. That shit look fucking good. Oh shit, look the fuck out. Jesus God, why? I have seen the light. And it is good. <laughs> that looks like your... <laughs> that looks like your bungle. <laughs> All right, Beavis. Clean some glue off of that shit on the outside. With your wet paper towel, that's less sanding you'll have to do later. And what I've not heard anyone mention in a YouTube video before is how much fucking harder wood glue is to sand than fucking wood is. It sucks. You don't want to sand it if you don't have to. Everybody cleans it off, but they don't tell you what a bitch it is. I like it. I like it, I like it. We like to party. We don't cause trouble. We don't bother nobody. We're just some men who rock the mic. Well, I'm going to put a few more rubber bands on it, but whatever. Because this kind of shit, it happens every day. You see, I... Three days later... You must have more. Yeah, if these fucking rubber bands weren't free, I'd be doing some shit about this. That's your problem, though. You can either use your free auction rubber bands or find some different shit. I don't care. I've got these fucking free rubber bands. What the fuck do you got? You got nothing, punk. You fucking silly. And your mom's silly and your father's silly. You're a bunch of silly fucking bastards. That's it. Let this goddamn thing dry for 24 hours. Talk to me tomorrow. The end. Day two. Whoop-de-dee-doo.